peace and blessings leo this is ascension empress with your august september reading whenever you come across this y'all happy belated birthday happy birthday oh so much happened throughout leo season and prior so i just appreciate y'all i hope everyone is doing well sending y'all so much love and light okay and we're gonna see what the messages are um this is a general reading so please take what resonates with you i missed y'all so much all right and i think i have a another reading for y'all as well that i didn't post so i'll be sure to put that on patreon it'll be public even if you are not a patron but yeah let's go ahead and see holy spirit holy angels look at that come on. what in the world yeah <laughs> the empress and the two of pentacles this i mean wow already to, to begin with okay so this empress energy has been very strong some of y'all could be dealing with an aquarius or something around the aquarius full moon during leo season because that was that was a lot oh okay so i believe that was on august 11th and y'all may have something maybe have been coming to fruition or you may have actually had a physical child um brought something brought something into um into i'm here in physical reality or either way i see you working with it i see you being able to manage whatever it is that you have recently gave birth to or, you, or you're about to give birth to here okay so this is interesting interesting messages holy spirit holy angels what messages do you have for my leos Mm hmm. talking about manis manifestation y'all okay i'm just i'm just being nosy yeah okay so i see there's been a lot of work there's been a lot of soul work and you know going within with the collective what do you want them to be aware of when it comes to the empress and the two of pentacles anything else see <laughs> going within taking that time to really reevaluate that has been the word okay that's been the word and that seven of pentacles seems to be coming out a lot All right look at that so that you can move forward taking a look at how you want to move forward maybe keeping something to yourself seeing something and i'm i'm getting you taking on this hermit energy is the reason why you're able to move forward like this okay i'm hearing in a peaceful yeah so be aware of um taking on too much responsibility I, i'm here in another job if you're expecting a child okay is there something around a car some there may be car problems because spirit wants you to to rest to relax okay i heard the finances you know that's going to be taken care of just take a look at how you're already managing them is what I'm getting here with the two of pentacles. What do you want them to be aware of when it comes to this hermit? This reflection. Holy spirit, holy angels. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Things are going to be taken care of, resolved. There's this resolution. Um, and again, within self, okay? I've been picking that up with a lot of the signs. You know, forgiveness and really being compassionate with yourself, okay? Yeah, so this... Look, spirit really wants you to rest assured, okay, that it's going to be taken care of. So there's something around work, career, your stability. Don't stress about it, okay? And I don't see that y'all are. Many of you, ooh, okay. So you could be reconnecting with someone from the past who you separated from or you've made peace with the past. You, you're going through a separation, but there's someone coming in. There's a King of Pentacles, okay? There's a King of Pentacles who's going to be coming in as you're in this Empress Two of Pentacles energy, okay? You may have, you may be very close to, I'm hearing that Nine of Pentacles, because you're in that Eight. You're in that Eight, it keeps coming out even in the collective readings, okay? And there's a King of Pentacles on their way. As soon as you, embrace this here okay what's going on what advice do you have for this empress energy holy spirit holy angels what advice do you have look at that okay stay connected look, look come on ace of cups to who the one and only all right there's this commitment there's this i hear a uh, spiritual discipline
this king of pentacles is someone you can trust i'm getting they may be very knowledgeable mature um older than you at least five years older or they've been through a lot they um something around how they resolve conflict okay and then look you got the two of swords some of y'all are not going to see this coming because you're going to be you know focused on wow this is your service your different responsibilities okay y'all are really in this empress energy you're attracting additional opportunities and, and passive income too here with the two of pentacles okay look at that yes yes there's a reason why this magician card came right back out okay this queen of swords y'all is coming up for a reason and about every reading and my hand is itching as i hold it okay so with this page of pentacles there's a new opportunity spirit said pay attention to this thought whatever idea whatever you're starting to see your vision is become is really becoming fixated here on something okay i'm hearing uh taurus energy with the fixed sign of taurus and you can bring this into reality it's a, it's an idea it may be a start okay it may take some studying but the fact that you're in this queen of swords energy when it comes to it right spirit is saying pay attention to that pay attention to that right that's why they want you to rest assured that it's going to be taken care of because they want you to be moving in alignment with where spirit is trying to take you so no worries no worries about this forward movement and you know if you're going to be able to have a stable partnership maybe in business career and love going forward it's going to happen it's going to happen here. So I may be talking to somebody who I'm here recently separated, single or divorced. Okay, so take that how it resonates because I heard complicated, <laughs> right? What's the divine feminine message that you have for my Leos? Look at that. Of course, the warrior saint. Many of y'all may be used to taking on much responsibility. I feel like I've been talking to a lot of single mothers lately in the readings. All right. It says, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Y'all, yeah, your devotion attracts resources and support. You can't make this up. That's why this emperor energy is coming in. That's what, Come on now. Stay connected. One more. We'll take the top. Look, I spend my time wisely and I only say yes when it's a holy hill yes. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Some of y'all like if it don't make money, it don't make sense, right? If it's not contributing to what it is, what it is I'm trying to create for my life, for my kids, for whatever it is, your vision, right? You don't see it. You don't. You. I'm not about to play with some of y'all, okay? What's going on? What's the soul journey message? consistency again thank you god okay i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to there is a reason why this queen of swords keeps coming out in these readings y'all there's a reason why this perseverance keeps coming out why the four of swords keeps coming out in the other deck this is this is amazing this is going to be a beautiful, wow, okay, this is going to be a beautiful retrograde. On the other side of it all, I'm hearing Libra season. That's another reason why this, that's what I'm hearing with this Queen of Swords, Libra season. You know, as Mercury goes direct, but here, the Holy Spirit is already trying to get our attention when it comes to going within very soon. Taking the time to listen to ourselves, listen to our intuition, and really become enlightened when it comes to the lessons and how we want to change up some things. How we want to obtain better the, what we've been praying for, right? So yes, we're going we, we to have to get a little uncomfortable. For many, it's like you feel like you've already been uncomfortable and you're ready for this Four of Swords, okay? Libra seems to be getting that energy, the air signs especially, right? But here you have the Six of Cups, y'all. This is coming out for a reason too. This is that self-reconciliation. This is that self-love. This is being able to make peace with, you know, being detached or distant and alone but not lonely, right? There's a lot of wisdom in this space. 
What's the moonology message? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. You can't make this up. Y'all, prosperity lies ahead. Conclusions are within reach. The only thing that hasn't came out that always comes out is the wheel of fortune in the world. Y'all, con conclusions are within reach. It's time to persevere. Persevere through this, this phase right here. It's a season. You're, you're seeing. It's a seeing season is what I'm hearing from many of y'all. Ooh, I've seen 11-11 as soon as I said it. All right? So I love y'all. That is the reading. This is the bonus because we definitely got to tap in. Catch up, Leo. I appreciate all the love and the loyalty and welcome if you are new. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will tap in again with you all soon. Bye.